For Michael Cheval, painting is as much an invitation as it is an expression. His work is a shared experience with the observer that includes intimately familiar images with an absurdist twist. I got a lot of pleasure to play with these um, images that everybody knows, but bring in something that probably people missed. Painting is in Cheval's DNA. While growing up in his native Russia, his grandfather was a professional draftsman who deconstructed, then replicated famous paintings by many of the European masters, such as Rubens and Velázquez. Cheval's fascination with drawing began at the age of two. I sat on the lap of my grandfather, and my grandfather held my hand with, with a pencil and drew something for me and I was mesmerized by that movement of the pencil and the pencil left trace. No, it was a game. Now uh, kids are watching TV, cartoons and stuff. Uh, for me, the most interesting things in the world was a piece of paper, pencil, that's it. Cheval fell in love with more than just the idea of creating visual content. The mechanics of producing his work, the nuts and bolts and sweat equity that goes into it, he finds just as intriguing. If we look inside of the studio, art is doing a lot of mechanical work, and artists have to have learned how to stretch canvas, how to prime it, how to fix it, how to uh, make a underpainting, what kind of color you use, what kind of media you use. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a science. Magic and chance are recurring themes in Cheval's work, so is music. Instruments are featured prominently in Cheval's paintings. Music is the universal language that creates harmony among the diverse images, adding context and proportion. Music is a great part of me. I love music. I cannot work without music in my studio. I cannot imagine actually my life without music. I even, I hear it in my head. So bring it on the canvas, it's like a, another dimension. Let people imagine the sound. The music, the sound itself could be a part of image. And also I want to show the beauty of instrument. That violin or keyboard or trumpet or guitar, mandolin or, or something. It's a piece of art itself. Cheval's most recent body of work transplants fairy tales penned by Lewis Carroll and the Brothers Grimm more than a century ago to his own stage, merging past, present and future. I just try to play with images that everybody knows. Cinderella, Snow White and the Red Riding Hood and try to imagine how they're gonna look in my way. The characters are recognizable, but the backdrop and props spring from Cheval's imagination. In Time to be Queen, Cheval commingles Cinderella's horse-drawn carriage with the pumpkin from which it sprang. Cinderella studies the glass slipper while above her, the time ticks down to midnight. I want to tell a story like Lewis Carroll made his Alice in Wonderland, like uh, Edward Lear made his brilliant uh, poems. It's coming with humor, it's coming with logic, and that makes art like diamond. It's shining, it's very attractive to people who want to make their life more colorful, more meaningful, and the meaningful, I think it's key. Cheval says the process begins as a sketch of an abstract idea. The canvas often reveals which details to include and what to set aside. But the choices he makes continue to evolve. I always in a search. I always trying to find something new in the technique, in themes of the art. It's never enough for me what I'm doing. I always trying to develop more and more things and uh, I believe uh, till the end I will still continue that. 
Cheval creates a pact with the viewer. He asks you to set aside familiarity and play his game of chance. In exchange, he'll transport you to a place that's both real and imagined, logical and absurd. Everything is magic around us. Just, just people uh, forgot about that. But I think if I show how life is beautiful and people beautiful, maybe everybody starts to, to think about how magic it is. And it makes people believe that something else around in the air. Uh, I, I need viewer, like a uh, musician need the audience. Without audience, the art is nothing. It will die without sharing. The finished painting is a play in Cheval's theater of the absurd. He builds the set, casts the role, provides the costumes, the characters, the colors, and the story. But the director is you.